Cracking the Code, Unveiling Patterns and Themes in English Texts. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a very significant skill in reading comprehension, recognizing patterns and themes. This skill is incredibly important in our journey to master drawing conclusions. So, let's crack the code together. First off, let's understand what we mean by patterns and themes. Patterns in a text could be recurring characters, symbols, events, or ideas. They can help us predict and understand the structure and flow of the story. On the other hand, themes are the main ideas or underlying messages that the author wants to communicate. Recognizing these can greatly enhance our understanding and interpretation of the text. Now that we know what patterns are, let's learn how to spot them. Look for recurring elements as you read. Characters showing similar behavior or facing similar challenges? Symbols or objects showing up more than once? Events that keep happening? These could all be patterns. They will give you clues about the text and will help you predict what might happen next. Themes can be a little trickier to identify, but they are crucial in understanding the deeper message of the text. Themes aren't usually stated outright. Instead, they are suggested through elements such as the setting, characters' actions, and conflicts. A story could have a theme of love, friendship, bravery, or the struggle between good and evil, among others. Pay attention to what the characters learn or how they change over the course of the story. This often points to the theme. So, we've identified patterns and themes. Now, how do we use them to draw conclusions? Patterns can give you clues about what to expect from the story or about a character's traits. Themes, on the other hand, allow you to understand the author's perspective or message. When you put all this information together, you can draw well-rounded conclusions about the text, enhancing your reading comprehension significantly. And that's it for today's video on recognizing patterns and themes. We hope you now feel more confident about identifying these elements and using them to draw your own conclusions. Keep practicing and remember, the more you read, the better you will become at spotting patterns and themes. Happy reading! Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep loving English.